Hey guys and welcome back. Um, so this is our brand new series. Obviously we've been doing our lockdown videos mm -hmm. quite a lot recently. But we've come up with a new series which is Disney related. Obviously you can see <laughs> the ears. <laughs> and it's going to be creating our perfect Disney park. So it's going to be in a few parts. I think we split it into four I think sections. four parts, yeah. yeah. So we'll obviously give you the overview today of the sections that we will have throughout the series and then we will do we'll go through the first few sections with you i'm also going to draw it out as we go yeah. so there will be like shots of our yeah so at times it might be us talking but it will <laughs> not be showing us because it'll show like the current drawing yeah if that makes sense this first episode is going to be us discussing the entrance to the park mm -hmm. none of this is like made up either like yeah. it's all obviously stuff that's already at Disney. It's all based on Disney World. We've picked parts out of all of the parks at Disney World, picked out what our favourites are. Obviously, mine are kind of educated favourites because I've been. Alex's mm -hmm. is just what he thinks will be his favourite yeah. and from what I've told him. Yeah, um, kind of what like, I'm looking forward to as well. Yeah, so none of it is made up. It's all just random stuff picked from different parks and put in to make our perfect park. To start off with, we're just going to give you like a quick brief of like mm -hmm. what each part is going to like have. So obviously this is part one, so you've had our intro, we've done the intro. Yeah. And we're going to discuss our entrance, our rides and the shape of the park. So what it would look like on the map. And then part two, we're going to discuss snacks and restaurants. And then part three is going to be the centerpiece of our park. So like sort of in the very centre of the, the main whole icon. park, like the main like, yeah, icon. As well as meet and greets. And then in the final part, in part four, we will add in any shows and parades and then give you an overview of the final park to remind you what we have chosen. Obviously, this is something that is quite fun to do during lockdown. Yeah. We've really enjoyed just planning it. Obviously, we haven't physically started it yet because we're doing it for the vlogs. But this is something which I think you guys could probably do yourselves. 100%, um, yeah. I think it's quite a fun task maybe to get the kids involved with. Whether you've been to Disney or not, whether it's actually Disney themed or not, it could be a universe park it could just be one completely made up of your and you can go own. into like as much detail as you like you could just do the basics and just be like these are the rides I want yeah or you can go really in depth like we haven't got really in depth but obviously we're doing the shape mm -hmm. restaurants rides meet and greets like you there's obviously like a million things you can yeah. add so I think it's quite a good activity to do throughout the lockdown we're definitely enjoying it already 100% yeah So the shape of the park, this can be like quite important in a way, because mm -hmm. obviously you can add more detail with just the shape of a park pretty much. Yeah, Disney are very good at putting like little hidden things in there and secrets and sort of what they call the Easter eggs, mm -hmm. things like that. And I feel like the shape of the park is quite easy to be one of those. We haven't got very inventive with ours, but I think that the classic idea behind it is something which they try to follow themselves anyway. So you've probably guessed it, our shape is going to be Mickey Mouse. Right, so Ree's just drawing out the Mickey shape. We didn't bother showing that because everyone knows what shape that's going to be. Um, we're just doing it on A4 bit of paper as well. We were going to do it bigger, but we thought just doing it on a smaller amount, at least for now, will probably be a bit easier yeah. as well because we don't have much space on this table. So the entrance of the park, really important because it's the first thing you see as you get to the park and you want to have like, as soon as you get there you want to have that, you want that like magical feeling I guess. Yeah. So we've decided <laughs> to go with the Magic Kingdom entrance. The classic. We kind of, we didn't even have to discuss this to be honest. Like I, I literally turned around and was like, I think I'd probably choose Magic Kingdom and we were just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it's the most interesting and intricate out of all of them. Yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, all of the park entrances, you get that incredible feeling because you're about to walk into a different Disney park. But Magic Kingdom is just that one, isn't it? Yeah, and obviously it has like, at, right at the front, you've got like the train station. Mm -hmm. In front of that, like the nice sort of like gardens, all like the shaped like hedge bush things. And that, so it's like a great like photo op place like, straight away. I know it's not the greatest like description, but hedge everyone bush. knows what I mean. Hedge bush. Hedge bush. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's literally like a great photo op, like before you're actually properly in the park. One thing I said that we should bring back as part of our park entrance would be like the welcome that you used to get from the characters. So if you were there at Rope Drop, you would have all of the characters there up on the balcony and there'd be a big sing song. I never witnessed it myself, but I've seen videos of it and I know it's beautiful. And I just feel like it's something that we would need to have just to add that extra magic as you enter our park. So 
so moving on to some of the rides that we've chosen. Uh, so we've narrowed it down to 10, which probably sounds like quite a few still to have in a park, but it I mean, tough. it's from like, what, four parks or something it like that? It was so tough. We didn't include any rides from the water parks, but trying to make sure you had a range of rides, so you had a range of the different types of rides, mm -hmm. and yeah. also ones to cater for everyone, but also ones that are our favourites. Yeah. So you've only got like family friendly, most. like more like thrilling. I like think, sort of classics. I think there's more thrilling rides than anything else. Yeah, but that's then just that's because of what passing. we like. Yeah, that's what well, we like. like. If you guys do it, you, you'll choose what you prefer. That's yeah. just how it works. Yeah, exactly. Um, so start with number one, we've gone with Splash Mountain. Everyone pretty much loves this ride. It's a classic water ride, a fan favourite. And it's kind of, it's one that when we're watching Disney vlogs, it's always there. Mm -hmm. Like whenever people are doing vlogs at Disney, Splash Mountain is somewhere. Yeah. It either gets mentioned. I or... love it. I love it. I love it. Obviously, you've got the three iconic mountains. That's my personal favourite out of all of them. I mm. mean, I've not actually ever done Space Mountain, so that could end up being on there after we've been this year. No, no, yeah. <laughs> So the second ride that we chose was Soaring Around the World at Epcot, normally known as just Soaring. We picked that because of like the sensory involvement of the ride. The technology is incredible. It's just one of those classic rides, which as soon as you go to Epcot, I know it's always the ride that we want to run to. Like it's just, it's that one where you have the most amazing memories of all of the smells and the sensation of flying on it. It's just so immersive. I. I can't put into words how much I love that ride. So next up we've got Haunted Mansion. So we picked that because you really get like lost in that ride. Yeah. I mean like obviously I haven't been on it, but like even just watching the videos of people on it, you get so like immersed in there's the so, ride. There's so many different aspects to the ride. Like there's just, oh, it's just incredible. And it's just so good. <laughs> It's definitely one of my favourites and I think it's got like the spooky side of it. Yeah. So the next ride is the Twilight Zone at Tower of Terror. This is obviously a thrilling ride. I've been on it probably only once because I was too small to go the last couple of times, the first couple of times I went. But it's just so iconic. Obviously it's the icon of Hollywood Studios. Now the magic hat has gone. Um, and one thing I remember is just the smell when you walk in mm. there. It's all musty and old. Um, again, just that immersion in the ride is unbelievable. So next up at number five, we've got Slinky Dog Dash. Obviously this is a brand new, super popular ride. Mm -hmm. But I think it's just amazing. Like it kind of makes you feel like a kid again. Mm. Because obviously when you're in Toy Story Land as well, like the whole ride, is designed, the toys are technically their size, so it makes you feel really small. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're even smaller than the toy. Yeah, <laughs> so again, it's like really immersive. Yeah. And just fun. Really it's experience. just fun, isn't it? Yeah. Like, And it's like one that everyone can go on. It's a very family friendly ride. Yeah, like even though it's a bit more of a coaster, it's more of a child friendly coaster. Yeah. <laughs> so the next ride is Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Obviously this is completely brand new. Some of the technology on this ride is incredible. Every review I've seen of it is that it is just unbelievable. And there is like, we were watching Tim Tracker the other day and there are unbelievable amounts of hidden Mickeys and hidden things in the ride. I feel like I could just go on it over and yeah. over again and see something new. The fact that it's trackless is obviously such a new technology. That's really fun. And it is the first ever Mickey and Minnie focused ride. You yeah. can't go wrong with that. Which instantly makes it a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we've got Pirates of the Caribbean, which again is another classic water ride. Mm -hmm. um, and the ride is actually no, the film's are actually based on the ride. So like the ride <laughs> came before the films, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And we There's a few love at the Disney films. like that. Yeah. Haunted Mansion is also one of them. Um, but yeah, it's great. And it's an indoor one as well. Um, yeah, and which... I think we kind of picked that as well just because of the fact we we love all the films as well. Mm -hmm. And the chance that Johnny Depp should, could go in there and dress up like he has done previously. Yeah. That would be mad. So next up is Avatar's Flight of Passage. Again, not been on this one, but it looks breathtaking. The technology is just unbelievable. You get completely immersed into another universe. The whole of Pandora is beautiful, but obviously we're picking just the rides. And I feel like the technology on Flight of Passage sort of tinkered it over mm. the other Avatar ride. And we just felt we had to Definitely. have something like that in our park. So at number nine, we have chosen Test Track 
which again is such like a fan favorite. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves this ride. It's thrilling and it's just like a adrenaline filled experience. Yeah, because it's got its update. So you've got like the whole queuing experience. We can design your own car and all of that. And then you get to see all of the, there's cars in a showroom at the end of it. It's just, it's a full experience. It's not yeah. just a ride. Like start to end. It's not just your queue, you get on a ride, you get off. Yeah. Is amazing. So lastly, we chose Expedition Everest, the legend of the Forbidden Mountain. The theming on this ride is incredible. It does upset me that the Yeti is no longer an actual Yeti and it is a projection. I would probably bring back the actual Yeti that got broken. Um, I just think, again, it's another thrilling ride. Um, there's a part where you go backwards where you look like you're going to go off the end of the track. It's just so exciting. Um, and yeah, the theming just really adds to that excitement whilst you're on the ride. Mm. It's great. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that is our like 10 rides that we've chosen. Um, obviously there wasn't any Star Wars rides. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not because we don't like them. Like we're actually really excited to go on them. Yeah. But obviously we haven't seen Star Wars and we haven't Yet. been on the rides. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was, we couldn't really justify taking mm -hmm. these out and putting that I in. I know, once we've been on it, I will probably end up going, right, one of these has got to come out yeah. and Rise of the Resistance has got to go on it. Yeah. Even it though looks I'm, insane. It just, it does look mad and I feel like if we had one extra slot, I would have definitely put a Star Wars one on yeah. there. But I feel like justifying that when we haven't actually seen the film, we don't understand everything as much. Like I know... We have, I haven't seen Avatar, but Alex has seen Avatar and I kind of understand that. Mm. But the Star Wars, there's so many films and so much to understand. It wouldn't have been right for us to put it in there yet. Yeah, definitely. So that was everything for like the first part. So now Re is gonna get down to business and start drawing this on. Yep. Um, obviously we've got to come up with a bit of like an order, like and sort of group the rides mm -hmm. and lay it out however we want it and i think what we're going to do because it's going to take a little bit of time to draw obviously there's 10 like ride things on there and the entrance yeah. needs to all be added in certain places so what we'll do is i might get a quick like time lapse um and then we'll just show you it at the end yeah and sort of like to show you where and why each thing is there yeah we'll, that just makes do, sense. we'll do a quick <laughs> overview of where we put everything And so as you just saw, Rhi has drawn all like the rides and the entrance on the, uh, the, onto there. Um, that looks really good, obviously. They're just sketches at the moment. Um, I think we're going to show you it all completed and run through it with it all coloured in right at the end of the series. Yeah, so that will be in episode 4 at the end that we'll go through absolutely everything. Yeah. And like, and it'll be, all it'll be fully covered. done like on there, like we'll, cause at the end we're going to draw all like, the paths around the park and that sort of on at the end as well. That is the end of part one. So if you have liked it, hit the thumbs up and smash subscribe down below. And we will see you real soon for part two. Bye.